84%. We'll boot it away. We're underway week four of the NFL on CBS. And it's another touchback for Myers. McCown looking to throw on first down. Chased by Ngakwe. McCown still has it. Now throws it away as Miles Jack took him down. Lawrence Thomas in at fullback. The defensive lineman continues to see snaps on the offensive side of the ball. McCown wanted to go deep. Good coverage again. McCown in trouble. Gets rid of it to curse, but nowhere to go. Two on the play clock. McCown out of the shotgun. Fires, and it's complete to Curley, but well short of the sticks. As Lachlan Edwards comes out to punt it away, and Marquise Lee back deep. Edwards with a short kick. It goes to the up man, Colt. Bill on first and ten. And the carry goes to Cornette. Nowhere to go. Tackled behind the line of scrimmage. Bortles throws, and it's complete to the fullback, Tommy Bohannon. Play action. Bortles checks it down to Fournette. And the tackle is made by Darren Lee. On second and six, Bortles are going to go to the air again. Pump fakes, now he'll keep it himself, and he dives ahead for the first down. And here's the former Jet, Chris Ivory, right up the middle. And second and five. Bortles has room to run if he chooses. Now he's in trouble, and Bortles is taken down by David Bass. Time for 25th in the NFL. Bortles has a man that is caught for a first down. Alan Hearns is wrestled down at the 21. The slack. He's got two touchdowns this season. Bortles looking his way again in the end zone. It's high and incomplete. There's Cornette on second and ten. He's got some room on the left side. And Cornette is shoved out of bounds close to the 10-yard line for Jacksonville. Cornette out of the backfield. Makes the catch at the 10. Cornette to the end zone for a touchdown. His first receiving touchdown in his NFL career. You're getting coverage right there on the inside, but there's traffic that he has to go to. A nice job of not running into him, making him touchdown. First time through the air. The extra point from Myers is good. And Stewart will take a knee, another touchback. Big man. Bought a pass last week. It's Bilal Powell on first down. Powell getting across the 30. They say he wasn't down. Powell's still going. Nobody touched him. Powell to the end zone. It's called a touchdown. Telvin Smith is coming over, and there he is right there. Did any part of Telvin Smith's body touch the shins of Bilal Powell? That, that's that's going to be the examination point. After review, the ruling on the field stands. In the opening quarter, and the extra point from Chandler, the second longest touchdown run in Jets history. Bilal Powell, 75 yards. Corey Grant to return the kickoff. He's going to take this one out. Corey Grant up the middle, and that wasn't a good decision. It was good protection, completes it to Marquise Lee who gets to the 25. The catch was good for a first down. So first and 10, they keep it on the ground. Here to put Fournette, who slips a tackle, spinning his way close to the 35-yard line. Second and one, Fournette right up the middle. He's got the first down. London, the big win over the Ravens. Here's Chris Ivory. And Ivory with not much room. Could be a top five running team. Bortles over the middle, incomplete at one. Bortles takes the snap. Bortles is hit hard and incomplete. Prior to the pass, holding defense number 11. Five-yard penalty, automatic, first down. Uh, with 5.05 to go in the first quarter. Bortles incomplete. Turn it. Bortles just throws this one away. Martin inactive with an ankle injury. Bortles is hit as he throws, and it's incomplete. Burley standing at his own 15-yard line, calls for a fair catch, and makes it at the 13.
at the 13-yard line. There's Bilal Powell. This time he's taken down by Telvin Smith. He got two on first down. It's second and eight. And this time Powell going nowhere. Count fires to Curley, and that pass is caught by Curley. Getting that second toe down, and they've got this playoff, so no reviews coming. Here's Elijah McGuire, the rookie with room to run, and brought down by Gibson in midfield. For a cigar. Count play action over Campbell to Safarian Jenkins. And he's shoved out by Miles Jack. Count. There's a flag down. The count picks up the first, but this one, the hold. Holding. Offense number 67. Ten-yard penalty. Replay second down. Brings it! There's Elijah McGuire. Bounces off one tackle and then cannot get to midfield. They just gave him a free five. Neutral zone infraction. Defense number 91. Five-yard penalty. Third down. Juice for curse. Down over the middle to Curley, who makes the catch. And before the Jets. Ball start. Offense number 88. Five-yard penalty. First down. Over the middle, caught by his big tight end, Safarian Jenkins. Neutral zone infraction. Defense number 56. Five-yard penalty. Second down. A handoff to McGuire. Again, this Jaguars defense. Jets are two for two on this drive on third downs, and we have more movement on the line of scrimmage. Ball start. Offense number 67. Five yard penalty. Third down. Second. The count in trouble. Chased by Church, and Church wins the race. Games. That's also the most in franchise history through three games. As Edwards tries to pin them deep, it's Marquise Lee who calls for a fair catch at the 13-yard line. And Leonard Fournette is the running back. And he gets the call on first down. Fournette over the left side. Now he's down to six. Fournette. Fournette played there. They lost to Troy. And again on the carry. And we're going to go back to New York for now. It is Ivory. Ivory taken down at the 31 yard line by David Bat. Only Deshaun Kaiser of the Browns has a lower percentage. They'll run it on third down, and Ivory has the first. How about the play call by Nathaniel Hackett? Is a lot of play safe football with the defense they brought to the table this year. Bortles encroachment. Defense, number 99, five-yard penalty, first down. Looking to throw here, Bortles was looking deep. Now to the fullback, Bohannon, who's tackled right away by Jordan Jenkins. Offensive line, that says pass to me right there. I'm wrong. It's Corey Grant on the run, and he's got a Jacksonville first down into Jets territory. We're tied at seven. It's Fournette and the bruising running back takes it across the 45-yard line for a gain of four. Still packing in, giving one-on-one -on -one matches on the outside. There's a screen to Fournette. He caught a touchdown in the first quarter, and he's got more room to run. Fournette finally out of bounds. Bars on the move. Play action. Bortles screen the other way to Lewis. And completes. Marquis Lee inside in the slot. It's Grant on the carry. Grant spun down at the 12-yard line. Bortles looking end zone incomplete. That was a miscommunication. 30-yard attempt is good. Pitcher. Stewart is going to return this kickoff. Artarius Stewart across the 25 and out to the 29-yard line with a game against the Browns next week. They'll start this drive on the ground and not much doing. This is for the entire Lehman football team to come here today. Their coach brought him. This the pass is complete to Austin Safarian Jenkins. And, and now Marone back near his home, coaching the Jaguars and watching Bilal Powell run out of bounds for a first down. Nine for his last nine on first and ten. He really stumbled trying to hand the ball off. 
Bilal Powell going nowhere. All three timeouts left for the Jets at the two-minute warning. Powell has some room this time. Powell off to the races again at the 30, and Powell taken down at the 25-yard line. 33 more yards for Bilal Powell. Our driving first and 10 from the 25. This is Elijah McGuire, and Barry Church is able to get him from behind. McCown with pressure coming, and Ngakwe brings him down. It's third and 15 for the Jets. They're going to run it. That's how fast he came out of his hand. And this one is good. Corey Grant is back deep to return the kick. And unless this is a low kick, you want to stay in the end zone because you don't want to burn time off the clock. Out of bounds, so the Jaguars will get it at the 25-yard line with 1.11 to go. So Bortles can work that to his advantage. Throwing on first, high pass deflected and nearly intercepted. Bortles again, and this one's incomplete. That's kind of been... Jamal Adams is hovering in the box, number 33 in white. Pressure's coming from Davis. Bortles incomplete and for Jacksonville. And Norton kicking away to Curley. Curley fair catch at the 30-yard line with on the bottom of your screen matched up with A.J. Boye. McCown fires. Oh, what a catch! Safarian Jenkins! into Jacksonville territory. And it puts 5-260. And his athleticism shining through there. McCown in trouble, and he is sacked by Ngakwe for the second time today. Former Jaguar in his first season with the Jets. McCown in trouble again, and he's sacked. Fourth sack today by the Jacksonville defense. Last two plays have cost the Jets 18 yards. Third and 28. They'll hand it off. It's Powell. As soon as the song. Oh, look at this. It's a fake. Edwards completes it. It's Marcus Williams down the sideline and out of bounds with 12 seconds to go. Oh, the play clock's going to expire. Jets now you make it a 45 yard goal. Yeah. Zero with 12 seconds to go. And the kick is no good. Take your shots. Throw the ball in the end zone. You're one and two at this point. And Blake Bortles takes a knee, runs out the clock here. And now Catanzaro, who missed that field goal late in the second quarter, kicks it away to Corey Grant. It'll be a touchback, and Jacksonville will get the ball at the 25-yard line. Make a lot of radical changes at halftime. Fournette gets the first carry of the second half and takes it to the 28-yard line. And it's Fournette again. And Fournette to the 30. It'll be Ivory in on third down. Bortles completes this one for the first down. And running out of bounds is Alan Hearns with it to 10. And Ivory across the 45. They essentially run the same body of play. Bortles in trouble. Steps up. And he is tackled in Jets territory. They pitch it to Fournette. Good pursuit by the Jets and they stuff him. He made one right there for the Jets defensively. Fair catch by Curley, who comes up to the 17-yard line. Josh McCown, now 38 years old, only two quarterbacks in the NFL are older, Tom Brady and Drew Brees. And on first down, there's some room to run for the Jets again. And his career high is 149. This time it's McGuire on the carry. And McGuire has got some room. Will they get him? McGuire will. Touchdown, Jets! 69 yards! We pointed out that coming into the game, Jacksonville's given up 135 yards rushing per game. That's not great. We did not expect these huge chunk runs. 70 yards, 60 yards, another 30-plus yards. Jets now have 208 yards rushing. Two long touchdowns. A 75-yarder by Powell. Very special for Malone to be here because... 
he was the offensive line coach when Marone was manning the center position for so many years. 10.02 to go, third quarter. And it's a completion to Hearns, and Hearns is taken down by Morris Claiborne. It's a play action for Bortles. Steps up, fires, and it's nearly intercepted. That was his hands to the Big face. Of hands. Yes. Offense, number 77. 10 yard penalty, replay, first down. Now, after the penalty on Patrick Omame, it's first and 20. This one batted down and incomplete. And then 20. And it's Ivory. Oh, and he is hit hard. Stadium. Bortles wants the screen, completes it to Ivory. A flag has come in. Ivory and the Jaguars will punt. Offense number 77. Penalty is declined. Fourth down. The defense has given up with those big splash plays. High, spiraling, deep kick from Norton. And Curley lets it bounce, and it goes out of bounds around the 10-yard line. Got their own 10 with Bilal Powell at running back. Powell around the left side, another hole. Spinning his way and still on his feet out to the 20-yard line. Seven and a half to go in the third quarter. And it's Powell again. And Telvin Smith stands him up for time. They said at that Raiders game, everyone was angry. They could see the fight in their eyes. That's what Darren Lee said. Leonard Williams said it, it's third down and five for the Jets. McCown, quick pass. It's caught by Robbie Anderson. His first catch today. And he's got a Jets first down. Fired once today. He's 11 out of 12. Jaguars bring in the heat. McCown gets rid of it to Curley. Curley is tripped up by Gibson. Jeremy Curley has been targeted 12 times this season. And he's made every single catch. 12 targets, 12 catches. As McGuire is stopped at the 40 by Anku. McCown feeling the heat steps up. Throws on the run. Incomplete. Was trying to score. You can see they had both the gunners come coming. Booting away. Marquise Lee is the deep man. He calls for a fair catch at the 13. Now the executive vice president of football operations for the Jaguars, who have done nothing offensively a long. Last 15 plays, Jacksonville's gained 30 yards. What a sidearm incomplete behind Fournette, who then Bortles completes it to Cole, and Keelan Cole stretches for a first down. 2.50 to go third quarter. Chris Ivory, the ball carrier. Ivory keeping those legs moving. And Grimmett with a deep center field. Bortles pulls it back. His pass is batted down. Picked off. Ely backs it down to the interception, and it's first and goal for the Jets. Bilal Powell, the running back. Thomas, the fullback. Here's Bilal Powell, and Malik Jackson takes him down. Play action. McCown looking end zone, and it's incomplete. Your screen. McCown in the shotgun. McCown checks it to Powell. Powell at the 10, and he's taken down at the H. Jalen Ramsey. And he knocks it through, so it's a two-possession game. Got to be. Jets start two rookie safeties. You know, Doug Marone told us that's unheard of. And Todd Bowles has done a great team on answered points. Fournette, a final hole, a late flag comes in. Illegal use of hands. Defense, wow. number 48. Yeah. Bob yard penalty added to the end of the run. Automatic first down. That should be the final play of the third quarter. Bortles going to keep it himself. And he's got some room to run. Bortles into Jets territory. Lowers his shoulder on Justin Burris. First and ten for Jacksonville. And it's a handoff to Leonard Fournette up the middle. And taken down at the 29-yard line by second down and two. Back to Fournette, and he doesn't get there. Bortles comes back to Grant, and Grant is stuffed. Today. This is from 52, and it's way right. 
even close for Myers. The Jets take over first and 10 from their own 41, and they hand it off to Bilal Powell. And Powell is able to get three yards on first down. You should always be on the field when you have a critical game differential play. All start. Offense number 77. Five-yard penalty, second down. Brought in the quote West Coast offense where you do get the ball out of your hands quickly. Another quick one right there to Curley. Who's down looking deep for Anderson. He's got a step on Boyer. Anderson's got it. Down near the 10-yard line. McCown and Bilal Powell wasn't looking for it. And they're saying this is a loose ball. Miles Jack on the return. Powell chasing after him. Jack at the 10. Jack to the end zone. Will this stand? To me, we're look. And the ball's coming back in this direction, which is backwards. What a huge break for the Jacksonville Jaguars. All scoring plays obviously are reviewed, so it's not like anybody has to pull out the challenge. After review... The ruling on the field stands. It is a touchdown. Now Myers for the extra point. After he shanked the field goal attempt, this one is good. And we've got a brand new ball game here in New Jersey from Jack. This is the newest Jet, Travaris Cadet, back deep, and he'll take a knee. Jets start this drive on the ground with McGuire. It's McGuire again, and McGuire cannot get away from Tashawn Gibson. It's her 5 of 11 on third downs. They pitch it to Powell, trying the right side. It's actually McGuire, and McGuire has the first. Deanna Lafayette. McCown looking to throw. A lot of pressure. He gets rid of it to McGuire. What a cut by McGuire into Jacksonville territory. The Jets move into Jacksonville territory with 7.50 to go. They're riding McGuire here. Wire did have a fourth quarter fumble last week. Empty backfield. Now, Myers, and it's nearly intercepted. It's a, from here, a 59 yard field goal. McCown fires, and it's incomplete. It's Marquise Lee back deep. Edwards, the punt, bounces at the five, and it goes into the end zone. Jaguars start this drive at the 20. They begin it on the ground with Fournette, and he is going nowhere. Bortles with time, finds Marquise Lee at the 24. Lee puts on the moves. They hand it to Ivory. Ivory at the line, trying to fight. And this is going to come down to the spot. They hit a good one from Norton here. With Curley back deep. He calls for a fair catch at the 20 yard line. Four. Hopefully I can walk through the booth. That's how coordinated I am. And no, nothing doing there for Powell on first down. Robbie Anderson right down there at the bottom here. McCown finds Jermaine Kirsch at the 30. And Powell picks up a couple. Quick receiver. In and out. And hand off to Powell. No surprise there. And now. Oh, and it's intercepted by Boye. The receiver slipped, and A.J. Boye has the interception. First down and 10 for Jacksonville. There's Fournette. And Fournette slipping tackles inside the 30 and still going. Leonard Fournette, he won't go down. Second down and one. Back to Fournette. He's got the first down. Jamal Adams and Mercedes Lewis could be a nice matchup. Bortles looking to throw. It's a screen to Fournette. He's got the 20. Fournette to the outside at the 10. Fournette takes it in. Touchdown, Jags! Game holding. Offense number 17. A 10-yard penalty from the spot of the foul. First and three for Jacksonville. And it's Ivory trying the right side. Chris Ivory turns the corner. And Cornette's just a little nicked up. Bortles looking to throw as Ivory incompletes. Second and goal. 
Bortles rolling left, fires to Hearns, and he's tackled immediately, and now... After the review, the ruling is that there was a catch. He was down inbounds. The play clock needs to be reset to 10 seconds, and the game clock will start on my ready for play. Bortles looking his way, it's deflected, and incomplete. 20. And Myers, flirting with danger, knocks it through the right side. Interception. Myers kicks this one away. The newest Jet Travaris could get a yard in the end zone, and he will take a knee. Count as five career game-winning drives in the fourth quarter. Throwing on first down, that pass is caught. Very aggressive Jaguars defense. Keep that in mind. McCown, the safe route underneath to Powell. Dot gun. McCown doesn't feel the pressure. Ball comes out. And I believe McCown fell on it. Game is over. And Jacksonville will be 3-1 and one for the first time in 10 years. They'll start the first drive of OT at the 25-yard line after a touchback. Fournette, the running back. And he'll take the handoff running right. And Fournette spins his way up to the 30 for a gain of five. Down. It's just Mercedes Lewis. Yeah. It's Fournette up the middle, and the Jets were right there. Probably the go-to guy. Bortles looking for a deep shot. He's looking for Hearns. A lot of contact, and there's the flag. Pass interference. Defense, number 41. Spot foul, automatic. First down. Bortles, and the pass is batted down again. And Second and ten. Pressure coming. Bortles escapes the pocket. Chased by Williams. Bortles just throws it away. Here comes the blitz from Adams. It's picked off. Bortles pass is incomplete. Curley is back deep for the Jets. Nearly blocked. Norton just got it away. It bounces at the six. Takes a Jaguars hop as it go in the end zone. No! Somehow it stays out and it's down at the three yard line. Start this one on the ground. Throws on the run, completes it to Curse. Show your good matchups, and you got another good matchup at tight end. McCown feeling the pressure, it's nearly intercepted. His own 40. Good snap. And a short punt by Edwards. Bounces near midfield and out of bounds. Fournette stuffed at the line. This Jaguars have speed at the bottom of your screen, and Keelan Cole. Instead, they run it to Fournette around the left side, and he crosses the 45-yard line for a gain of five. Good protection. Bortles throws. Caught by Marquise Lee. Then he lost the football. Doug Marone does not attempt a 60-yard field goal. He sends out his punter, Norton again. End over end kick. Fair catch for Curley at the nine-yard line. Law Powell on first and ten. Jacksonville brings him down. There's going to be a hole in the defense. Town completes this one to Robbie Anderson. The ball at their own 20-yard line. They're going to keep running the ball. And Jaguars snuffed that one out. I'll take it. McCown, deep shot for Anderson. Incomplete. McCown. And it's caught. Offense, number 88, 10-yard penalty, correction half the distance to the goal, 10-yard penalty, three play third down. You might want to double cover. Pressure coming from Campbell, McCown gets rid of it to Powell on the screen, Powell slips a tackle, but then brought down from behind. There's a good kick, driving Lee back to his 20, he misplays it. Ball is loose at the five, where Lee scoops it up. Marquise Lee trying to slip tackles and can't get away. That Going official. to kick, illegal block in the back, return team yep. number 17. That penalty is half the distance from the end of the kick, first down Jacksonville. Center with Fournette in his own end zone, he takes the handoff. Hit by Darren Lee and stuffed for a 
one yard loss for when the Jets had the ball holding in the end zone you got to be careful if you're the Jaguars that would be a safety in the ball game and Fournette just spins out Bortles in the shotgun in his own end zone pressure coming Bortles steps up Bortles throws on the run incomplete who awaits the puck midfield Hurley creeps up to the 46 Curly trying to get to the outside. And Curly out of bounds at the 40. So linebacker today. Sportsmanlike conduct. Kicking team number 51. It's a 15 yard penalty. Added to the end of the run. First down, New York Jets. Wow. They're already in field goal range. Try to make it a little bit easier for Cat and Zero as Powell takes the handoff. This is McGuire, the rookie, who fumbled in the fourth quarter last week. A lot of trust to give him the football here. The ball to the spot. Catanzaro wants it. He's going to spike it. 41-yard field goal attempt for Catanzaro to send the Jets to 2-2. Two and two, And he drills it. The Jets win in overtime, but there's a flag down. There is no foul for leaping as the defensive player, number 20, was on the line of scrimmage in a defensive position. So there is no foul. The field goal is successful. This is the end of the game. And the Jets win it 23 to 20.